Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our talk about how winning the AWS Game Day World Championship made us better DevOps engineers. Hi, everyone. My name's John, and I've been a tech lead um, and in software development for about 10 years now. Um, and I have been in the AWS space and DevOps space for about two years. And I'm Rich, I'm a software developer for D55, which is a software development consultancy based in Manchester. Uh, we specialize in AWS and serverless workloads. John and I have worked together for about two and a half years, and before that I, was, I spent 15 years as a live music um, roadie, basically. <laughs> so, what is game day? Well, it's a gamified learning event that is typically three to four hours long and challenges players to use various AWS services to solve real-world technical problems, but in a fun, team-based setting. The aim of game day is to give you freedom to explore <clears throat> and think outside the box, rather than kind of a closed narrative that you would get from a workshop. Game day has many different themes, such as migrating to serverless or focusing on sustainability. So why did we get into game day? Well, we wanted uh, simply a learning experience, a way to immerse ourselves in AWS services and see what approaches others were using while implementing them. We put together a team with different experience and as wide a knowledge of the different services we had already used as possible, which at the time was limited to those which we work with every day, such as uh, Lambda, API Gateway, and DynamoDB. So coming into the World Championships, we hadn't really uh, done a lot of AWS or game days before, and you can see on the screen is me and one of the Martins and the hosts. Um, but our goal was to just have fun and try and learn some of the AWS services and how we could fix them. Um, and at the end of the qualifying, not only had we won, but we'd also uh, learn to work together as a team and just learn more about the services. And the final itself was based on a rideshare company scenario, managing the fleet and improving the delivery of the service as it went along. Uh, it was a pretty tight finish, and we managed to win using a mixture of the AWS knowledge we'd learned up to that point and game tactics, managing our resources as effectively as possible. So as we've kind of mentioned already, our main goal was to get exposure to new services, patterns, and practices. Um, and now we've finished kind of humbly bragging about winning. Uh, we're now going to move on to how it made us better uh, developers and better DevOps engineers. So it's helped us become more familiar with a lot of services, such as pipelines, so that's building code and automatic deployment, as well as Beanstalk and ECS, as well as um, observability, such as CloudTrail and CloudWatch, that helped us during the finals to see how they were breaking our code. Quick and speedy deployment is key to both winning game day and good day-to-day -day DevOps. Using the services like Amplify, Cognito, and even AWS's online IDE Cloud9, we were able to iterate quickly through the key changes, which made the difference between winning and losing. Observability in cloud tech, and particularly inside serverless systems, is essential. And learning where and what to look at, as well as how to filter the data effectively, were all skills we employed while competing. Something that I'm sure most of us are kind of familiar with is working under pressure. Um, personally, I like to work under pressure, and even though game day is a game, it does mirror real life events. So for us, kind of working together as a team, I think helped us to quickly analyze and diagnose issues that you would typically have if you were on call or working with a, a live production issue. And these events really give you an understanding of team dynamics and how everyone thinks and how you can approach that particular person and especially looking at their skill sets and how they can work with a particular task during that event. And problem solving under extreme time pressure within a team is a really difficult thing to get right. It's essential to be able to explain the issue quickly and effectively <laughs> and discussions need to be clear, concise, and constructive. So we adhere to the approach of strong opinions held lightly, which allows us to talk through the issues without getting defensive or protective. Uh, so one final brag. It looks like we had the old slides, but um, we recently won the F1 Game Day Championships, and hopefully that just kind of shows that we're always learning and taking our teachings with us. Um, thanks for listening.
Cheers.